Uh, what changes in the loss ratio is uh, basically that anytime anyone, any entity applies for liability insurance, they always want to know not only the exposure, that is the amount of exposure, the amount of either payroll or receipts or what have you, but also a critical part of any underwriter's decision at the insurance company is what is the loss history. So they want to know what that loss history is. And when there are losses uh, specifically arising out of third party losses, that is when we've hired someone and they create or cause a problem or a loss, when we can keep it under their insurance program instead of ours, that dramatically lowers the loss losses that go in to the reported losses. Usually it's within the last three to five years is what most underwriters are looking for. And so with those kind of issues, if we can completely contain them and keep them with the insurance companies of the third parties, what that means is that means no losses at all on the insured's um, a loss ratio on the insured's loss history, and therefore it dramatically improves. And let me also say this, that when an insurance carrier knows that an entity is actively verifying uh, coverages for all of the their third-party contractors, their vendors, what have you, that is also a big improvement. And one of the things I like about our system is that we have the ability to document the percentages of those who are our compliant with our requirements. We can show those as part of the loss history. And therefore, it's going to give any company a real leg up in the in the history in the uh, loss ratios and the loss histories that are involved. This is especially true, I might add, in those industries that are higher risk. So when we get into things like construction or construction related practices, then it's critically important in order to segregate and contain those with the third party insurance companies rather than have them spill over into where our own insurance is actually paying for them.